Good morning. These are the procedures for the initial login of a Chromebook. Upon powering up your Chromebook, the first thing that we will see is the Chrome welcome page. The only thing we'll need to do on this page is the bottom window where it says select a network. We are going to select CCPS guest. Once we have joined CCPS guest, we will click continue. Uh, the Chrome OS terms of use will pop up. There's a radio button. We are going to deselect that and then click accept and continue. The next thing that will pop up is the CCPS guest certificate splash page. With two fingers, we're gonna slide on our mouse pad down to the accept button, click accept. We're gonna click on the green accept certificate button and then log in. Log in with your full CCPS credentials. So first name, underscore, last name, at ccpsnet.net, followed by your password. Perfect. The next page that will pop up allows you to personalize your Chrome experience by taking a picture of yourself or selecting from the pictures provided for you. I am going to select the bicycle. That will be my user profile picture. Click OK. The next window that pops up is a uh, Chromebook help tutorial. We're not going to concern ourselves with that right now, so I'm going to X out of it. Next, you have a picture of your Chromebook desktop. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, you should see your profile picture. So I see the bicycle down here. I'm going to click on the bicycle picture. To the left of the box that pops up, you will see a wrench and settings. I'd like you to go ahead and click on that. The next window that will pop up will be Chrome OS settings. You will see the first or at the very top of the page, internet connection, Wi-Fi network. I'm going to select that down arrow and I am going to join CCPS wireless. There's another button that says connect. I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. It already has grabbed my network credentials so I'm going to put my password in. I'm going to select connect again. Excellent, we have joined CCPS Wireless. Now what we're gonna do is force the Chromebook to view CCPS Wireless instead of CCPS Guest. So again, I'm gonna go to the drop down arrow. This time I'm gonna go to Preferred Networks toward the bottom. I'm gonna pop that window up and you should see CCPS Guest and CCPS Wireless. I'm gonna hover over CCPS Guest that X will appear. I'm going to X out of CCPS Wireless, or pardon me, CCPS Guest. Only CCPS Wireless is visible. I'm going to click Done. The Chromebook from this point forward, when it's powered up, will speak to CCPS Wireless. All right, I'm going to. Automatically defaults to Google Time, which would be Los Angeles. So you click the picture down here. And you're going to go to settings. And you're going to see all kinds right. of settings here. You want to set your wallpaper. I have a mouse hooked up to mine, so I can do the mouse speed or the trackpad speed. Also, you can change the, the touchpad and the mouse gestures. I'm going to go a little bit further down to show advanced settings. And the very first thing you'll see is the time zone. And it's set to Pacific Daylight Time. Well, that's not where I live. That's not where any of us live in Chesterfield County. So I'm going to go to Eastern Daylight Time, New York City, because that's the closest one. I don't need to click Save because it automatically saves for me. And I'm just going to close that browser out, or that window out. So now that my settings are correct for the time that I am living in, Down here, you've got a Chrome button, 
you probably won't have the Gmail button, but you'll have the Google Drive button. And if you click that, once you're logged into your Chromebook, it will just automatically open up your CCPS Google Drive and you'll be able to get to it. One of the things here in Google Drive that we want you to do is go to the More button, go to Offline, and I've already enabled Offline on mine, but you'll have a big button here that says Enable Offline. You need to click that because what that does is it syncs any Drive document that is on your Google Drive to the local drive on your Chromebook. Why would you want to do that? Well, it gives you the ability to create documents and edit presentations and even view your spreadsheets um, while you're not online. So if you took this someplace, maybe you took it outside uh, on a science thing and you want to be able to write down data on a, on a Google document, well, you'd still be able to do that even if you weren't connected to a Wi-Fi. And then once you get reconnected to the Wi-Fi, it'll resync that stuff. So it's very cool. That's why you'd want the drive. And once you're in Google, you can just use this black bar to go between things. So you can go to your calendar. Um, you can go to Google, Google Sites. You may not have some of these because teachers and students get different rights for those. Other things that you're going to want to know about your Chromebook. This Apps button right here. This is where you click to get to some of the apps that you may have installed or that have already been installed for you. You can see I've got Google Drive here. I can get to my camera if I wanted to do the camera. My calculator tool is right here. And as you scroll through these, just see, I, I've got lots of apps installed. I've been using this Chromebook for quite some time. With the keyboard, by keyboard shortcuts. One of the really cool things is that the Chromebook will tell you all the keyboard shortcuts that are there. On your keyboard, if you hold Control, Alt, and then type the question mark, you're going to get a full-on keyboard right here. So I'm just going to talk about the, using this, talk about a lot of the stuff that you see. The power button is the top right-hand most button. But to turn the volume up and down and mute your Chromebook, you have these buttons at the top and it's got a like a speaker with an X and a speaker with a minus and a speaker with a plus. The brightness are the next two buttons. The brightness down, it looks like a smaller sun. The brightness up looks like a larger sun. To switch windows, in case you have multiple instances of windows open, you can just tap the switch window button. And to go full screen, you can tap the full screen button. This is like a refresh button and then you've got forward, backwards, and escape. And escape just, you can escape lots of things. But if I, if you do this on your Chromebook, you can see if I hold the shift button down, let's say I've got the Chromebook is really running slow. If I hit shift and escape. So what about the other services that are offered through my.ccpsnet.net? Well, the best way to get to all of those is actually to go to my .ccpsnet.net and put in your login information and if I need to get to Edmodo or any of those or Discovery Education or any of those other things on my Chromebook the best way to do it my.ccpsnet.net and then click on Edmodo it's going to open up a new tab and automatically log me into Edmodo and now I can participate in my Edmodo group. Just, just click stuff, you can't break it. And remember that if, if for some reason it crashes or goes down, everything that's on here is actually saved to your Google Drive, it's saved to the cloud. So you don't need to worry about losing things.